Okay guys, I'm here today with Hugo Legrand. He's a judo guy and he got third place in the Olympics in 2012 in Lodo. And he also got second place in the world, third place in the world. So like very, very, very high level in judo. And he's also blue belt in jiu-jitsu. So today he's going to show us here what to do like a jiu-jitsu versus judo, right? Let's imagine like we are, we are fighting against some, how, how to fight against the jiu-jitsu guys standing. Right, so what, what he teaches like uh, his students, for example, to do standing when you are in a jiu-jitsu match. So how to use the ju judo against the jiu-jitsu, judo versus jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu versus judo. So I'm very excited to learn from him, and um, that's it. Okay, so most of the time, jiu-jitsu fighter, you fight super like bend, yes. And if you like both bend like this, would be super hard to reach leg or even even end so me my advice is like stand up a little bit even if the guy is still bending you try to get closer with your hip more your your, your hip is close to the body more you're able to attack whatever leg from here would be like super hot because you're too you're too far okay so if i'm fighting against the jiu-jitsu fighter and if he's bending i would grab I will even like, don't let him the chance to pull guard. So probably I will be like, able to just kind of, kind of jump. It's like my leg, I will use my leg like in fencing, you know? So yeah. it's, it's gonna be like something super quick, super fast to attack direct hook. And even if the guy wants to pull guard, it's too late because my leg is already like inside and I can like just push. So from here, I'll, I'll say like, I'm gonna grab super fast the, the end and... What? Oh, Sorry. <laughs> no, that was that was great. So you, you, you connect the attack really quick. Like. Exactly, I mean, I don't take the time, like if, if we just stay, grab, move, the guy would just like, oh God, and it would be too late for me to Girl. get the advantage. Like, so yeah. I'll, to, to do that, to, to be able to just, jump on a guy and hook him you have to be is what i said you have to be like super close with your hip if you stay yeah. here it won't be possible yeah. so from here same your back yeah. leg has to be closed also so, so basically like, as soon as you touch the person you start attacking the person exactly. yeah no, that makes a lot of sense and i remember for example when i was competing i used to hate fighting as who had some very good judo and one of my main opponents for example Rodolfo Vieira as soon as he would touch my gi he would start yeah. shaking oh, and uh, oh, sure. so I think that makes yeah. a lot of pulling sense pulling also yeah grabbing and pulling a jiu jitsu fighter and like it won't help him to pull guard so you, got you, it. Bring, you bring him to your side which is better yeah. Oh, yeah. Ugo, and quick question, like, yeah. uh, I know that in judo nowadays it's not allowed to attack the legs anymore, yeah. but do you worry about the guy going for a single or anything like that, as in jiu-jitsu it's legal? I don't care, because I, I like, uh, to me the best defense when a guy is yes, hooking, is not hooking inside here and trying like uchimata, because it's still dangerous. From here, you just have to hook the second leg. So from here, if you have the sleeve, even if the guy is still grabbing you, Yes, by hooking here and just turning, I got it's it. like a block his last leg. I got so it. If, if you're here, so if I hook you and you just like hook on Uchimata here, I still can lift that leg, yep. still come to you. But if you attack my so exactly here and there. It. Yeah, so basically you take advantage of the gear, pulling yeah. the sleeve up. Exactly. Or so for example, very important. I got it. So if that was like a no gi for them, then it would be trouble, right? Because no, it's okay, that's fine. Because you, you can still like grab here. Yeah, you yeah, so gotta pull the arm out. Yeah. So just one more time, the singles. I can't really see so from here. here. Even if it's no gi, you just grab the tricep and just try to reach the same bad leg. Yeah, if you're uncomfortable. Don't, yeah. don't, don't reach the first one because you still get gone through. But here, I got it. Yeah. So it's, it's like. And you can also take advantage of it. If you have a gi, that's perfect. Yeah. And the conclusion here about the standing in general, you, you kind of give your hip, and as soon as you touch the person, you connect. You exactly. I got it. So you don't give any the Jiu Jitsu guy any second to feel comfortable. Exactly. Man, that's amazing.
BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster. 